In this video, I'm going to show you how to hand trace an image. Um, I had someone send me a photo that they were trying to do a uh, path trace bitmap on, and they couldn't get an outline so that they could um, fill it with color and make an SVG, a layered SVG file. Um, here is the picture. First of all, it's gray. It's dark. It's not clear at all. Um, and when you trace it, you cannot get an outline of everything. I did it. Uh, you know, I'll go ahead and do it again, but it kind of messes with my computer a little bit. Um, Choose colors, eight, update, uh, maybe 10, update. I don't see any red or green in here. So, you know, there's a lot of layers there. Um, and when you do trace it and pull it apart, you just, you can't get what you need so that you can fill it with color to make a layered SVG. So in that case, what you have to do is you have to trace it by hand. So the first thing I do is I open up my layers panel under layer and down at the bottom layers. Oh, I've already done this. Um, and you're going to have one layer here. If you double click on it, you can um, name it whatever you want. I name it background, make sure that it's selected and then hit enter. And then I add a layer and I named that trace. So I just typed in trace here. Okay. And that gave me this layer. So what I want to do with my background layer is hit this little lock right here and lock it. And that means that whatever I do, I cannot move this. Okay. And then I'm going to go to my trace, make sure that it's unlocked. And then go to my Bezier pen and click around the image. And as you can see, I'm not, um, you know, clicking a thousand times. I'm just, okay. Um, so what I want to do now is go to my fill and stroke and go to my stroke style and check my width of my lines and make sure that they're good. So I have it set at four and that looks good. So now what I want to do is go to um, edit preferences and go to my pen and choose um, this tool's own style. I want to make sure first that my um, path that I just drew is selected and then um, Make sure that this is selected, this tool's own style, and take from selection. And then it should show here, whatever size stroke you have here should be here, and also the color. Then you can close that out. And what that does is it locks the pen into, every time you start, a four pixel width. Um, otherwise, if you don't do that, your stroke width can change every time you go back to using your pen. And for something like this, uh, that's just going to be problematic. So in your node editing tool, you can left click and move these lines around to make them, you know, conform to your image. Um, if you have this selected right here, um, when you're in your node editing, it will give you these handles. And that's gonna help you smooth out the corners and make, you know, make these really fit how they're supposed to fit. Um, another thing you can do is, um, I have a lot of round edges. Um, so with your, Stroke selected, you can go to, um, in your uh, stroke, fill and stroke, 
understroke style. There's a round join and a round cap. What I did for this image was most of the time I had a round join and a round cap. But when I did these triangles looking um, lines here, I had them square. Okay. Uh, so you just have to kind of work with that and see what works best for your image. Now, here I need to join these together just like that. I can move this over a little bit. Move this up a little bit. And that's what you have to do. You just have to go around and form it to your image. And then once you're done, now I need another line here. I need these lines here. So I go back to my pen, click here, double click here, click here, double click here, click here, and double click here. Now you can better see, um, let me go back to my note editor, that these are squared off. And you want those round. Okay, see how it rounded it off? All right. And now these this is overlapped. Just grab this node and pull it back. That one looks good. And then I'll click on that and I'll round these off. They're his fingers, so you want them to be round. Just click and move it around now this one is square but it doesn't really matter uh unless i need to move it all i need to move all this up there we go so you just have to decide whether you want a round join or a square join um you can play around with it a lot you can get it pretty much perfect okay um so let me close this off here. Go to my note editor, move it down. I'm gonna actually select both of these and move them both down. Now, obviously I need to put all these lines in and all you do is you, you grab your pen and you click and do these Vs. Like that and then you're gonna want a line across here click double click and maybe move this one down a little bit and this one needs to be adjusted there we go and these are too far down, so just click on it and pull it up. Click on the node, pull it up. So when you do this, you use zoom a lot. <laughs> and that looks pretty good. Okay, so now once you're done tracing the entire image, um, you can go ahead and go back to your layers panel and unlock the background click on that and move it out of the way and then obviously this isn't done but um you select everything and you go to path stroke to path and once that's done it can take some time depending on your image give it a few seconds go to path union okay that makes it all one. And then you can choose your paint bucket and choose a color and start filling your image. Let me zoom in here. I hold the shift key and when I'm done filling, it's all one. I need to combine these, so I'll, I'll select one, hold the shift key, select the other, and go to path combine. So now that's all one layer, okay? 
um, I duplicate this, trace, move it out of the way, and then this one I'll do a, it's not going to turn out very well, but I'll do a um, path break apart and then path union and then I'll turn it black and that's going to be my background to um, layer my colors onto. And then if I need to, depending on how it looks, if I need to have this outline on top to make it look correct, then I have that too. Okay, so that's how you trace an image by hand in Inkscape. Join me in my next video. Thanks for watching.